Hi, this is Keith Peterson from Bar Chart. Um, we're going to get started with webinar any minute now. Uh, just waiting for a few more people to join, and uh, we'll get started. All right, uh, two o'clock, so uh, let's get going. Uh, if you're here, you're here to learn more about uh, Commodity View uh, Excel, uh, which is our latest uh, tool for streaming market data in Excel. It uh, features all of the commodity by bar chart uh, data and all the, the, the futures content we have, all the physical prices we have, and really anything you would need to build um, really cool custom dashboards that uh, are flexible and, and can really do whatever you need. So uh, we're going to just jump right in. So a little introduction um, about myself, uh, Keith Peterson. I uh, oversee strategy for Bar Chart. Um, and additionally, I'm responsible for uh, the commodity product line. So uh, working with our technologists and our product managers uh, to uh, come up with an overall comprehensive strategy in terms of how our products work together, how those help our customers, uh, and ultimately, uh, how we, we we give people more tools to do their their jobs better than they do uh, today. So that's entirely what I'm focused on. Uh, personally, I'm a huge uh, user of Commodity View Excel. Uh, I've used a lot of Excel add-in tools um, throughout my career, and uh, I, I I find the product to be fantastic. And I can't wait to tell everybody more about it today. Um, and then additionally, I'm just really big into physical commodity markets. So you know we we are at the bar chart and the Commodity by Bar Chart product line are really focused on physical grain. Um, to, to start, that's kind of where we, we, we uh, earned our stripes. Uh, but we're increasingly looking at other physical markets. So uh, we'll, we'll talk about it a bit more in the presentation, but uh, we have physical uh, fine fuels um, and then some really cool metals data as well, which uh, I, I look forward to showing everybody. So a little background about bar chart. Uh, we are a uh, data leading provider of, of data and services uh, to a lot of different industries, you know, financial uh, services, media, and, and commodities. But, you know, we're, what we're really talking about today is the commodities vertical. Um, Commodity View Excel does support equities, Forex, and really any data that's in our ecosystem, uh, which, which is a lot. Uh, but today we're going to be talking a lot about just commodities and, and the commodity by bar chart line. So we, we, are a, uh, we are broad, diversified, uh, uh, market data redistributor and then services provider, um, but with a particular interesting focus on, on commodities. As you can see, we have a ton of content. Uh, really anything that you might need, we're going to have it in our ecosystem. And that's ranging from financial data, um, indexes, stock prices, um, financial futures, you know, the S&P Mini 500 uh, futures contract. We've got all of that data, all of the uh, surrounding metadata and fundamental data that supports that as well. So for um, a given stock, you know, who's the uh, CEO, uh, how much money did they make last year, all of that good stuff. Um, additionally, we've got, you know, a, a broad range of news, and this includes not only our news that we put out through the Commodity Newswire, um, but it also includes third-party news like Dow Jones, Associated Press, um, and, and all this content can actually uh, be pulled into Commodity View Excel. Um, that's coming in a, a future release, but uh, you know you'll be able to if you subscribe to you know Dow Jones Commodity Wire, you can pull that right into Excel and, and uh, look at that uh, alongside your custom calculations that you're you're doing in the desktop. So really powerful stuff. And then of course our, our bread and butter, the the commodity data. Um, if you want it, we've got it. Uh, you know any any futures data uh, globally, uh, we're gonna we're gonna have that. Um, whatever you need, uh, we have all of our own uh, proprietary data, the, uh, the grain bids that everybody knows and loves, our green indexes, our uh, yield estimates, which we'll talk about a bit more, um, and then increasingly other asset classes such as our physical crude oil prices, our refined fuel prices, and our scrap metal indexes. So uh, more to talk about on that. Um, one last thing on commodity data, we, we do aggregate all of the major, um, I'll call them service bureaus throughout the, uh, the, the world. Um, this can be like the USDA, Eurostat, Stats Canada, um, United Census Bureau. We pull all that fundamental data that you need on, you know, grain production, uh, could be non-farm payrolls, uh, it, you know, it, it could be acres planted. 
and we we make that available in a in our database for fundamental commodities data. We call that commodity stats, and then that's available to all our end users in Commodity View Pro and uh, in Commodity View Excel. So if you need it, we've got it. So what exactly is Commodity View Excel? Good question. I'm, I'm glad you asked. Um, it is really whatever you, you need it to be, right? So um, you need to build a custom dashboard to uh, that gives you the flexibility that you just can't get in a software product. You know, we all know that software products are, are built for, for many, right? But sometimes you need something that uh, is very specific to your use case. Well, Excel is actually a fantastic tool to do that because you can build pretty much exactly what you want um, and, you know, open it every day and, and see what you need, right? So it can be your custom dashboard that's built for your workflows. Uh, you don't need to bug your software developers to add that special feature that you need. Um, you can just build it yourself, and, and it'll it'll be populated with streaming real-time data or whatever you need. Um, it's an analytical tool. You know, a lot of times uh, people need to do deep research, right? So um, understanding what futures contract traded the most notional value over the last week. Um, it's a lot of times it's easier to do that in Excel than it would be a software product or um, you know in Python or uh, manipulating a, a SQL database. So we make it really easy to do that, and we have all that, that sort of data, right? So uh, notional volume traded, uh, notional value of open interest, and we've got it across futures, um, physical, and, uh, and stock uh, data as well, so you can compare everything right there. So the Commodity View Excel is really built for deep analysis and insight, uh, whether those are models that you run all the time uh, for you know ongoing reporting you need to do, or it's ad hoc analysis that you're just going to do one time and be done with. But we make you um, we help you do that faster than you ever could before. Uh, and then you know finally it's a it's a workflow solution, right? Uh, we all have unique and individual uh, responsibilities. Um, you kind of need to build something for yourself. So uh, if you need a spreadsheet streaming with the latest market data uh, to power your business decisions. Um, we do that, and, and, and it's, it's incredibly effective to use Excel for that sort of stuff. So um, at, at the highest level, um, you know, Excel provides a lot of flexibility that you just can't get in other places, and we pump all the data that you need there right into it. So um, let's go a little bit more into what's actually in it. So what do you get? Um, you get real-time data, right? So if you subscribe to real-time data from CBOT, uh, you're going to be able to get that directly in Excel. Um, it's going to update uh, streaming, and, and it's going to be, you know, able to be integrated into your decision-making framework, whether that's a, a trading model, a risk model, or, um, you know, just a, a quote board that's sitting in your office so everybody can kind of see what, what the price of commodities are. Um, that's all available. Uh, global market data, right? So not just real-time data, uh, but global prices from uh, all the major futures exchanges. Uh, you know, we're focusing on commodities here, so I'm going to talk about CME Group, ICE, Dalian, Euronext. Um, but really any future or equity or Forex uh, or even cryptocurrency that you would need, um, we have global data that, that you can just stream into Excel even if you don't have a real-time license for that. And uh, what good is all that streaming data without historical data? Uh, we have uh, historical data usually back to inception for most futures products and uh, you can easily pull that into Excel you know, within less than a second. Uh, so it's a, it's a really, really powerful tool, whether you need to stream data in real time or you need to do research, you know, with, with deep historical data. So really flexible, really powerful. Um, what else is in it? You know, mention our physical cash data. These are going to be our grain bids. Um, this is going to be our, our cash crude oil prices. Um, you know, all that exclusive content that you're used to getting, uh, either as an API subscriber or a Commodity View uh, Pro, you're going to be able to get that in Excel. Indexes benchmarks. So you need a fair value price for, for grain in Boone County, Iowa. I can tell you what that is. I can tell you what it was historically going back, uh, you know, for the harvest delivery window to 2014. Um, we have that for both basis and we have it for cash price. So uh, really interesting analysis that you can do with that. Um, and then, of course, we all, also cover other asset classes like refined fuel. So what's a fair price for ultra-low sulfur diesel, um, you know, in, in Tennessee uh, for a particular county? Uh, I don't know offhand, but you can sure find out pretty quickly with Excel. Um, and then uh, commodity statistics, which is our fundamental database for uh, commodities. Um, all that USDA data, uh, Department of Energy data that you want, it's all in there, and it's all queryable and, and super easy to find. So what happens when you put all that together? Well, you have um, what's probably the most powerful tool out there for analysis and commodity workflows. 
Um, what makes it so powerful is that you design it. You get to pick whatever you want, um, and uh, you can uh, deploy uh, that tool into your workflow however you need. So um, build completely customized tools, um, pull futures prices, physical data, and fundamental data at your fingertips. Um, it's really, you know, the sky's the limit. Um, and Commodity View Excel is available as a standalone product, uh, which is $129 a month, uh, or as part of your Commodity View Pro license, right? So um, that's really uh, compelling value there. Uh, just uh, you, get the, you get the software package from Commodity View Pro uh, that also includes the, uh, the Commodity View Excel uh, product that's valued at $129 a month. So um, we're trying to make our products as valuable to our customers as possible, and I think, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're doing that pretty well. Uh, in terms of who should use it, well, um, I personally think everybody should use it. It's a uh, it's a fantastic product, but um, let me go a little bit deeper into uh, what some of those use cases might look like. So, uh, grain buyers, commodity traders, these are people that need access to real time market data for their day to day workflows. You know, I'm a grain merchandiser. Um, I need to make a decision about where I'm going to be bidding for corn um, three months out. Uh, I can run analysis on my desktop using Commodity View Excel that you know previously was was impossible for me to do. Um, I can plug real-time market data from the CBOT in there, get that get that real-time price for corn for beans or, or wheat, and I can pull that in a custom model um, that I can use to make better decisions. And that's the sort of information that um, you know is really powerful and, and you can uh, distribute that to other users in your in your ecosystem or, or your company. So um, I'm bidding for you know 50 cents under for corn. Um, because that's what you know historical basis is telling me is, is the right price. Um, that's that's really powerful information that, that you can use to make better decisions and, and ultimately make more money. Um, additionally, you know, use our exclusive physical pricing from around the globe uh, to understand where other cash market participants are trading. Right? Uh, nobody wants to make decisions in the dark. You want to be a, uh, you want to know what other people are paying for commodities, uh, whether that's grain, whether that's uh, crude oil. Uh, whether that's scrap metal, um, really anything. You, you want to benchmark yourself against uh, prices. That's what we do. We integrate, aggregate, and distribute out uh, global physical uh, prices um, for, for multiple commodities, right? So you are always operating with the best information possible. Um, and you can combine that with global commodity fundamentals from the USDA, Eurostats, StatsCan, um, you know, look and see how much uh, oil is being held in reserves, um, you know, by the strategic oil reserve for the United States, for example, what's been the drawdown uh, on that? Are they, are they adding to that? Um, you know, think about uh, Baker Hughes, which is one of the uh, fundamental data sets we integrated recently. So, um, you know, what's the Baker Hughes rig count doing? Are uh, more people putting rigs to work or are you seeing a drawdown on those numbers, right? So um, using that sort of fundamental data that's uh, all in our commodity statistics database, um, pulling that directly into Excel, combining that with physical crude oil or physical commodity prices and all the futures that you're used to using, um, it's incredibly powerful. And grain buyers, commodity traders, you know, you're, you're in a great position to um, make good pricing decisions. Um, and then additionally, you know, some more advanced stuff, right? So um, it's one thing when we make uh, the ability to plot forward curves available in our software. Um, it's a whole nother to be able to build those out um, and customize to exactly what you need. Excel is a, an incredible tool for, for doing that. Um, you can customize a forward curve um, exactly how you want it. You can build your own seasonal analysis. You know, we, uh, we've got some templates that I'll, I'll show you later uh, that, that help you do this. But, um, you know, the, the sky's the limit. You can, you can build all that sort of uh, analysis and, and, and tools uh, that you need uh, just right there on your own desktop. So really powerful stuff for commodity traders and, and grain buyers. So not everybody is a, uh, a trader or a, uh, a grain merchandiser or uh, a buyer. Um, there's a lot of people that are, are doing research, right? And, um, you know, this, this is a great tool for those folks as well. Um, it supports, you know, not just the commodity data that um, we talked about, uh, we have been talking about, but also company-related information. Um, you know, so for, for Apple, what's the, uh, what's the latest analyst rating for um, Apple? You know, what are, what are the earnings estimates there? You know, and, and if you tie this back into commodities, right, so um, British Petroleum, BP, Shell, Exxon, all publicly traded companies, uh, you can take a look at what's the latest going on with, with their um, financials, and you can do that right next to 
um, the, the the data that we have on uh, crude oil exports, um, all the fundamental data that we have on you know rig counts again as an example, um, and, and you can perform that sort of analysis um, that previously you just couldn't. Um, looking at the grain side of things, right? You could do the same sort of thing, um, you know, with a, uh, a public traded company um, like ADM, right? So uh, taking a look at you know grain futures against uh, grain stocks um, and, and seeing how that plays into um, you know their their revenue, their P&L, uh, running correlation analysis, like really powerful, interesting, and dynamic things that um, you know analysts want to do, economists want to do. Um, this stuff scales infinitely, and it's 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 um, it's really special and unique. So, um, you know, how, how does that manifest itself in your day-to-day -day workflow? Um, you can power recurring reports, uh, automate opportunity identification. So, uh, I want to value uh, a particular uh, oil company or, or grain company based on the value of of um, you know grain, right? So, uh, what are the proved reserves? Um, how many facilities do they have under their uh, their control? Um, you can value kind of like the collateral that's being held by that company and create a book value for the, the, that, that commodity company um, and then compare that against their stock price, right? So really interesting stuff. Um, and if you just need to, you know, get your boss off your back because they're hounding you about, hey, what's, what's the latest uh, with, you know, uh, the commodity markets and, and, uh, in Indonesia, right? Um, you can do that sort of one-off one -off analysis faster than you ever thought possible, um, all because it's in Excel and all the data is right there at your fingertips, right? So, you know, the, 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 the outcome here is you can really create highly scalable models um, with just our, with what amounts to basically infinite uh, amount of data um, in real time and as new information is released. Um, and then combining that with uh, market data, uh, global cash prices and fundamentals, uh, you can, you know, an analyst or an economist can build a one-of-a-kind uh, global view of the market in, in one dashboard. Um, and just a reminder, uh, we are going to be taking questions later on, so uh, you can submit questions in the, uh, the chat uh, if you'd like, or there's actually a function to submit a question itself. Um, I will uh, take those after, uh, after we go through the deck and, and the little demo, and uh, I'll happily answer any questions that the audience has. Um, okay, so risk managers, right? Uh, we talked about front end traders. Uh, we talked about analysts. You know, uh, what about the people that, that need to make sure that everything's going well in the organization? So, risk managers, um, get that real time data that you need uh, for commodities, equities, global forex, cryptocurrencies, all in one tool. Uh, make sure you you know what's going on in the market. If something's down five percent, you know, you can create automated alerts that that set triggers and and notify you to look into. Um, you know, maybe you have one particularly problematic trader that you want to keep an eye on, or, um, you know, you want to automate distribution of alerts throughout your, uh, your organization. Um, these are all things you can do. Um, risk management software, right? Um, it can be rigid at times, whether that's something that was built internally by your developers, or if that was something that uh, you bought off the shelf. But um, that data can, or that, that software can be a bit rigid, and, and sometimes it's useful to have uh, customizable models that you can use in, uh, to make better decisions um, and influence your risk management tolerances. Um, and then, you know, it really it can be a complement to your existing set. So it's not a replacement for the software that you have, um, but, you know, how can it make you uh, work better um, and ultimately just, you know, perform better in your, your job day to day? Um, work smarter, not harder, right? That's the, uh, that's the typical uh, saying. Right. So, how do I get started? Well, let me tell you. Um, it's as simple as downloading, um, logging in, and, and going. And I will just show you uh, real quick um, a couple of examples of that. So, um, the download is just available on our Commodity View Excel um, website. So, very, very simply. You can just go right to our trading section here, Commodity View Excel, and you can just download the add-in. So I've already got mine installed, but um, you download it, you install it, uh, it's ready to go in, in a matter of seconds. Um, so once you're in, what we can do is um, you would just log in, right? So log in, uh, you put in your username, your credentials, and you hit go. Um, and then you are ready to rock. 
Um, that's it, really. Uh, you know, I, I skipped the, the installation process, but um, you know, it's 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 seconds. It's it's not even minutes. Um, so now I'm going to show just a couple of examples on how you can pull data into Excel um, using um, using Commodity View Excel. So super easy. Uh, here is a uh, I'll get to this list in a minute. So completely blank page. I haven't uh, built anything ahead of time. Um, it's just here, right? So uh, I click Commodity View. Once you install the tool, you're going to have this little ribbon in your um, Excel uh, workbook. Uh, I'm logged in. Boom, boom, boom. And then I'm going to um, show you how to pull a quote. So um, really cool uh, navigation we have here. We call this our symbol browser. Uh, you can take a look at um, you know, all the data that we have in our ecosystem. So, uh, you know, let's look at uh, retail fuel prices. So that I can see, you know, in Ashland, um, Virginia, uh, I can pull a price there. So let me grab that. Um, you know, I'm big into corn. Let me just grab front month corn contracts. Get that. Um, and, you know, I am a um, massive fan of electronic vehicles. So uh, let me pull Tesla, which, uh, you know, as I heard, has been doing quite well of late. And boom, hit insert. And there we go. We're away. So um, I can see right there uh, the last price for, um, you know, uh, this is going to be uh, biofuel. <laughs> I picked a tricky one there. Uh, but biofuel in Ashland, Virginia at a, um, a TA uh, uh, truck stop. Uh, 299.9. So uh, that's that's uh, that's information for sure. Um, front month corn, you see it's trading nine, uh, 393.75, and then Tesla uh, 571.10, um, and you see it's ticking in real time. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's it updates as the price updates. Um, you can pull all sorts of different um, fields through here. I only selected a couple, so uh, let's just pick a couple stocks. Here, because these are always easy and fun. Uh, Amazon. Um, let's do a couple. Let's do open, close. Uh, we probably want price change. Um, insert, and away we go. So, um, lightning fast, as you can see. Um, looks like Amazon is is pretty much unched uh, for the day. Um, but uh, really, really cool. Um, really cool. Really easy. Um, you can do that without having any experience with Excel uh, add-ins. Um, so super user friendly. So I'm just going to get rid of everything here. Uh, if I can find my delete key, there it is. And I'm going to show you how to do a historical query. So um, again, starting from scratch, nothing pre-built here. Um, we call it a time series. Uh, I like the term historical data. Um, I'm not going to quibble over that. Um, but uh, you know, let, let's let's just show you how quickly you can pull um, futures data historically. So CL. Let's. I'm I'm into crude oil right now. Front month contract, boom. Uh, let's see, I want the uh, daily uh, value descending. Um, let's give me the last uh, 500 days. Let's, uh, let's, make, let's make Excel work for it here. All right, and I want you to split that vertically. Um, and, oh, I gotta, that's what I gotta do, send that over there. And then I'm gonna insert that. And look at that. Um, I get historical data uh, pulled almost instantaneously uh, right into Excel. Really cool. Um, there's only 302 rows uh, that are populated. You might notice that I selected the um, 500 most recent days. Um, that's because it's going to be hiding uh, weekends. So any trading session that wasn't active, those don't get taken out of consideration in that the number of days count. Um, but you know all that information is there. You see, there's a couple of formatting things here that has to do because I was pulling the, uh, the the previous prices, so there was a percent change in that cell um, before. Um, that's that's completely normal. Um, let's do that one more time. Let's pull some uh, historical data. So you know, time series. Uh, what do I want to look at? Let's find something interesting here. Um, no, actually, let me just uh, pull up Apple. That'll be good. Uh, Apple open, high, low, close. Um, last and well, actually, let's pull one minute. We're going to show you the real power here. Last one uh, is today, and boom. I think I pulled that incorrectly, so 
So let me uh, do that one more time. So let's put Apple in to the last 50 bars and go. Boom. So to the last 50 bars for Apple. Um, like I said, like instantaneously pulled in there. Um, really cool. So you are an advanced user. Um, you know, how do you enter just formulas directly into Excel and pull the data you need? So I did the liberty of downloading the, the Dow 30 uh, right here. Um, so I'm not even going to use the, the dialog up here. Um, I don't need to. I know how to I know how to do it. So I'm just going to put a formula in here, uh, BCD, uh, which stands for bar chart data. Um, I'm going to link to that cell there. So I'm going to lock that down. Um, and I'm going to lock this down here. And boom, last price is pulled. Let me drag that over. Um, you're going to see volume, bid, ask, simple description, populated instantaneously. Now let me just drag that down, um, and you're going to watch all this stuff come in. There we go. So a uh, little, little bit of a lag uh, when it initially loads, but then once the, the, the API kicks in, um, it just pulls it in, uh, in you know, instantaneously. So a uh, real cool dashboard. I could do this for 30 symbols like I did here with the Dow. Uh, I can do it for 500, the entire S&P 500. Uh, I can do calculations off this. Um, so I could, um, you know, I can calculate change uh, myself or maybe the uh, bid ask spread. Uh, so here's the bid ask spread. You know, I can uh, take that and I can divide that by the last price, so I can get the uh, the percent difference between the uh, the bid ask spread and the um, and the last price. So I can see this pretty tight market right there. It's basically zero. Uh, pretty impressive with the uh, stock is trading at three hundred and nineteen dollars. So, um, but as you can see, really fast, really impressive, uh, really like powerful, right? I mean, the, the sky's the limit in terms of what you can do there. And, um, you can pull, like I, like I showed you, quote data, uh, just using our quote dialog. You can pull historical data uh, using the time series function, or you can build your own custom formulas. Um, I'm personally on the, the custom formula side of things, um, and I, you know, as you kind of get more experience with the tool, uh, you might be as well, but um, whether you want to use the, uh, the pre-built uh, templates we have, or I, I should say the, the dialogues we have, or you want to do stuff on your own, um, you can do whatever you want. It, it, that's, that's the beauty in it. It's completely flexible. So um, you already know how to pull uh, data. Um, you know, what are, what are some more advanced use cases? So we've taken the liberty of building out a few um, templates for our users to get started. Um, and these are really designed to help people that have very specific use uh, workflows um, do what they need to get done. So um, I've got a screenshot here. Uh, I'll, I'll show you this template in a minute. Uh, but this is a cash forward and basis seasonality monitor, right? So basically for any given area in the United States that grows grain, um, I can help you calculate or this template can help you calculate um, historical basis for a given month um, going back to 2016. And this allows you to chart uh, uh, current forward cash prices against historical averages to kind of see where, where grain is lean or rich in terms of basis pricing. Um, you can see, and, and you can see in the screenshot there on the right, uh, that's going to be your year by year seasonality for grain buying in your region. So that, that's basis uh, that's actually plotted. Uh, and you can create forward models for uh, the current year based on your own projections, right? So um, you tend to think the basis is going to tighten up. You can see where that, that comes in versus, uh, you know, historical seasonality. Um, and, you know, you can build some really cool custom models there. Um, and then additionally, right, so we have all this great data in our ecosystem they have access to, uh, including our yield forecast, right? So you can imagine, you know, if, if our yield forecast um, has a, you know, we're, we're projecting something lower than uh, USDA, um, you, you would expect USDA's estimate to come, um, come in a bit uh, the next time that they report. Um, and then, uh, you know, that, that helps you kind of identify where um, supply is going to be. Um, you know, if you also have your own kind of demand, um, you know, point of view from, from your own area, you can really create, you know, unique and interesting um, sort of matrices as it relates to grain marketing. So if I think price is going to go up and I think basis is going to contract, um, I know what I should do in terms of uh, taking an options position, putting it on my hedge. Uh, really powerful and innovative stuff that you can do there. A couple more, uh, U.S. crop production forecast. So, um, you know, the final numbers from USDA came out. 
our soybean number was dead on uh, with, with their figure. Um, we predicted that in uh, basically, you know, the end of September. Um, real powerful information. So this, this, uh, this template that, that, that's available um, basically will allow you to uh, view our yield estimates on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, provided, you know, you have the uh, Commodity View Pro or Commodity View Excel license. Um, and you can compare that against USDA, come up with a um, production forecast at the state level, national level, um, and then see, you know, what's going to be the shortfall or the excess amount of grain that's produced. Um, and really, you can do that from a bottom-up or a top-down approach. Um, and then, you know, the cool thing is, because it's in Excel, the sky's the limit, right? So if you're super advanced, you want to take our template to the next level, um, you can pull county-level information in there, um, leverage our forward, uh, the, 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 price, the forward price curve that we have on our, with our indexes, and then identify opportunities for hedging or, you know, if, it, if it, it's your fancy, uh, some speculation as well. So um, really interesting stuff. Um, right here, if your, uh, your flavor is more on the metal side of things, um, we have a scrap fair pricing dashboard. So it basically, um, you know, takes custom formulations of uh, particular scrap metals. Um, it, it blends the futures that, that, comp that compose those um, byproducts together, and then it spits out what the blended futures rate would be. Um, we compare that futures rate against historical basis levels, and then we present you with a streaming cash price for, for scrap. Um, you can apply offset to that. So here's fair value for my streaming flat price for scrap. I want to be 10 cents under that. Then you can publish that bid out to your, your scrappers uh, or whoever um, and just you know ensure you have the, the latest and greatest pricing out there. Um, and like I said, it, it contains uh, historical basis information. So our uh, scrap metal, uh, scrap yard indexes uh, allow you to calculate uh, historical basis against historical futures, and then you can you can take that and, and really just use basis to give yourself a streaming uh, price amount. So um, I'm going to show you this one as well. Uh, really powerful stuff, and if you like it for scrap, um, you can do it for grain too. It's it's uh, it's really no problem. And um, you know if uh, somebody uh, asks me nicely, uh, I might uh, help them get that going for grain too. So um, something to keep in mind. And then the last template we'll show here. I'm not going to pull this one up, uh, but it's available. Um, you know, this is our U.S. crude oil pipeline dashboard. So basically, uh, we have uh, prices for over 200 varieties of, of crude oil across the United States. Um, it, you can pull data on those uh, directly into Excel. Um, it updates daily. We have historical prices in there. Um, and you can basically calculate, um, and we do it in the sheet for you, uh, but basis between those, like, location-specific prices and then WTI or, or Brent, uh, and, and then figure out, you know, where is basis diverging uh, against historical patterns, and then where might we see either price compression or, or price opportunity at the upside. So um, really cool stuff, and then obviously you can compare that against other data sets as well. So we have retail fuel prices, uh, we have indexes to tell you a fair value for retail fuel um, at travel centers, um, and you can see, you know, based on where crude oil is in, in let's call it, you know, not to pick on Tennessee, uh, but in Tennessee, um, I know what ULSD is priced at in Tennessee. The basis looks a little off, so I would expect that um, you know ULSD prices would come down, and you might expect basis to tighten a little bit on the on the crude oil side. So really cool, uh, real powerful stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pull up a couple of these dashboards uh, real quick. Um, let's start with the uh, cash forward and seasonality dashboard. So um, as you'll see here, um, I've selected uh, corn. I've selected uh, state level, and then I'm uh, looking at the uh, commodity Illinois corn price index. So um, this is all kind of streaming in real time. So as the uh, the future of the cash price updates, um, you're going to see that reflected in the chart. Um, we have our front month contract. We have our 12 months out uh, forward price contract. Um, and then we have historical basis here, right? So uh, incredibly powerful stuff, and that, that's what you're seeing over here. So um, here's historical basis from 2016. Uh, you can see uh, the patterns throughout the month, uh, months, um, and then 2017, 2018, 2019, and even 2020. Uh, we average those all together, and that's what you're seeing uh, over here. So um, basically, that the, the, all the stuff on the left is being powered by the seasonality patterns on the on the right, um, and it updates in real time. So um, this is what it looks like for, for Illinois, and, and kind of what you can see is the, uh, the corn price, um, uh, the, 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 corn, the current forward corn price kind of looking out uh, 10, 12 months. Um, it's a little bit lower um, than what you would expect 
uh, just using historical uh, basis. Um, so, you know, that, that, that's just something that, you know, you can play into your, your gray marketing decisions and say, you know, I, I, I would expect that I would see basis tightening here um, just based on historical seasonality. Um, and I can, you know, get on a hedge. I can, I can sell futures here and, and get a little uh, richer in my cash position to try to capture that spread. Um, so real cool stuff. Um, it works more than just Illinois. So let's uh, pull this up real quick as an example. So I'm switching to Iowa. I'm going to update my history. Um, bear with me one second. We've got to pull a lot of data and uh, it's going to be calculated. Full confidence. There we go. You see it, it updated in uh, real time there. Completely different forward curve. Uh, looks very similar, right? The, the growing dynamics are different between Illinois and Iowa, but they are related. Um, so here's your, your futures um, price curve. Uh, here's your implied curve based on historical basis. And then here's your, your cash um, with, the, with the current uh, basis. Uh, right now. So let me just update that history. Um, yeah, and then you have your seasonality patterns here. So it uh, looks like 2019 was a bit of an outlier, right, where, where basis was um, quite tight, actually positive, right? Usually we're, we typically see, um, looking at the average, uh, we see it a bit negative, um, but in 2019, you know, basis actually crept into the, uh, the positive. So um, really cool, real powerful stuff, um, totally customizable. So, you know, you can do this for um, not just corn, uh, but you can do it for um, you can do it for wheat, you can do it for beans, um, and it, it's really versatile. So uh, at the state level, county level, even um, district, and at the national level, I'm not going to go in and, and go through all those, all those examples. But um, you know, you contact your your rep uh, from Bar Chart, and we'll happily uh, give you a demo. So uh, that's one template, really cool, real powerful stuff. Um, and then additionally, you know, here's as promised the uh, scrap metals uh, dashboard. So um, here's bare bright copper. Um, I'll show you one that's actually a little more interesting. So scrap yellow brass uh, is made out of copper and zinc. Combination is 50-50. Uh, I price it in pounds. Uh, here's my blended futures for value, historical basis of six, um, 67 cents. Uh, and then that gives me a flat price of 122 or 128.8. Um, so let's say I want to set my basis to uh, 75 cents, right? Uh, point. So five, boom, that just updates my flat price. So when somebody calls up and says, hey, give me a price for scrap yellow brass, I can tell them within seconds that I'm willing to pay a buck 20 for it. So really easy, really fast, really powerful. You can run an entire business on this. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's something that's unique and novel, and you just saw it tick. Everything just updated in real time when the price of copper updated. Um, you know, but we got it for aluminum, steel, lead, and zinc. Um, whatever you want, right? So it's it's super flexible, super scalable, and like I said, we could do this for grain if if some if um, our clients are in interested. So uh, please reach out, let us know uh, what you think, and uh, we'll we'll get that going. So a uh, couple last things uh, before I kind of get into questions, um, but uh, I want to tell you guys what's what else is new, right? We're always doing new stuff. We're always giving our clients more data, more tools. Um, how about I tell you about? So, latest data additions. Uh, we just onboarded grain barge and transportation data. So this is really cool stuff, and uh, we'll we'll um, we'll likely do an Excel template on this later. But we're uh, we're pulling the U.S. Corp of Engineers data into our ecosystem, uh, locks and dams information, um, which basically tells you the x amount of grain uh, for you know at, at, at the at the um, the commodity level, so corn. Uh, beans, what have you, moves through this particular lock uh, going down the Mississippi. So, you know, if you combine that with, you know, our basis indexes, you combine that with, um, you know, our, our yield estimates, uh, you can really gain an unparalleled picture of, like, what the actual grain movement looks like throughout the United States. Uh, really cool um, stuff, and, and, you know, certainly if you have more questions on that, let us know. Um, you know, if you're, if you're more into energy, Baker Hughes rig count data, I've mentioned it a couple times. Uh, but we pulled historical data for Baker Hughes rig count. We get it updated in real time. Um, it's available in our economic calendar, which you can find on uh, in Commodity View Pro. But uh, you know, we we've got that content now. So you know, what's 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 the supply side look for for just the, the oil coming out of the ground? Um, our fiscal crude oil prices. Um, you know, the, what's what's the price for for 200 different varieties of, of crude oil throughout the United States? Um, and then can you get rack prices? So, um, you know, it, I've, I refine fuel. I am now selling it for distribution uh, to, you know, um, travel centers and, and gas stations. Um, 
what's the price with which you can put this in a in a in a truck and, and get it out of there? Um, so our Canadian uh, rack fuel prices are available. Um, uh, you know, definitely reach out to your your rep for more information there. But um, just a flavor, right? We we keep adding more and more. Um, I, I can't wait to tell you about the stuff that's in the the works, and uh, I might even do that without you asking. So um, stay tuned. Um, our Commodity Exchange 2020 Grain Summit. This is something that is coming up in uh, May, uh, May 4th, uh, 5th, 6th. Um, it is the number one grain event in North America. You gotta come. Um, there's gonna be four, over 400 representatives from leading agribusinesses there. Um, we just locked up uh, another awesome sponsor today, um, which you know we'll, we'll tell you more about in the coming weeks. Uh, but you know our sponsorships are, are filling up fast. Um, our registrations are, are really uh, kicking into high gear. Um, so get your tickets now uh, while you can. Um, the cool thing we're doing this year is we are making free tickets available to all of our clients and any farmers, right? So you want to be there. You want to learn about, um, you know, what's going on in grain markets. Um, come, come to our event. And then if you want to market and, and get your products in front of major grain buyers, uh, major, um, you know, operators of, of farming operations, um, you should sponsor. Um, or if you want to be on a panel, reach out. And uh, we can see if there's a fit. Uh, we're still looking for um, a couple panelists, uh, particularly on the, the weather side or um, you know a fireside chat. So if you have a really cool story you want to tell, let us know. You can reach out to events at barchart.com. That's events e v e n t s at barchart.com, and uh, our team will will get you going. So um, there's a limited number of sponsorships available. Um, let us know. Get in while you can. It's going to be fantastic. We had I think 250 uh, you know certified representatives from agribusinesses there last year. We're going to be over 400 this year. Um, there's no event like it. Um, we got a fantastic slate. Um, the, the first night, we're going to do a tour of the city of Chicago. Then we're going to have a full um, you know, slew of events throughout the day on the, the 5th. And then there's an exclusive invite-only um, event for um, you know, the, the, the folks that are most interested in our products and services. Um, I'll be speaking at that event, too. So I, um, you know, reach out if you want to get more information on that. Um, but definitely sign up uh, and you know let us know if you're interested in sponsoring. Uh, it's going to be great. Um, check out our blog, right? So um, you know we we send emails out. We let people know about what's going on. A lot of times we just write about it on our blog. Love it if you um, you just kind of follow that you check in periodically. Um, you know we often uh, put updates out there on LinkedIn. So um, follow us on LinkedIn. You can follow me directly. Uh, you can follow Bar Chart. Um, but you know I talked about our soybean yield forecast. We predicted the USDA final number like a long time ago. Um, you got to read about it. You know, we we provide a lot of information on how we did it. Um, we're working on a white paper as relates to um, you know our grade, our, our yield forecast. Um, it's going to have even more information than what's in the blog, but just really cool content that um, you can learn um, better how to use our products. Um, and then on the software side, so we we added a lot of really cool stuff to Commodity View Pro, um, advanced charting and trading enhancements. Um, it looks fantastic. Um, you know, if you haven't tried Commodity View Pro, try it. You might like it. You might love it. Um, I can't recommend it enough. So, um, but to follow our blog, uh, we're, we're talking about our stuff all the time. So uh, get there uh, while you can. Um, and then, you know, there's our free price report. So a lot of people subscribe to these. Um, they give you fair value prices for for grain, uh, crude oil, um, scrapyards, and retail fuels throughout the United States. Um, we're working on a couple of other varieties here, so uh, stay tuned. Um, but um, you know, these are absolutely free. So you want to know what the the current price is for corn in in Iowa? Sign up for a report. Get in your inbox every morning. Um, you want to know uh, what you know? U.S. scrapyards are, are paying for for number two copper. Uh, you want to know what yellow brass is going for? I don't know. Maybe you you want to get into recycling. Um, download it. Uh, sign up for free. You'll get it every day in your inbox. Um, like I said, we're going to be coming up with more. Uh, we're going to have one of these available for our yield estimates as we head into the growing season next year. Uh, we're working on an international grain price uh, and oil seeds um, report. It's going to be totally free. Um, so I don't know anybody else out there that, that's providing these sort of reports. We're going to send around uh, the PDF uh, of this afterwards. Um, there's links to all of the content uh, right behind it so you can click through um, and, and you can register right there. And of course, uh, you can always just go to our website barchart.com backslash commodity, uh, C-N-D-T-Y, and check out all this stuff on your own time. So uh, really cool stuff that we're doing there. Um, 
So kind of with that said, uh, you know, are there any questions that the audience has for me uh, today? Okay, got one um, coming through. So uh, said, what other templates are you for Commodity Excel? Oh, that's uh, that's a that's a great question. We're always trying to find uh, more templates that that help our customers uh, do their their jobs. Um, we're actually looking at, like I said earlier, the the lock uh, and green barge uh, movement data. We're looking at pulling that into Excel, um, kind of helping people uh, get familiar with the data, make decisions around the data. Um, the notional values that I talked about earlier, we're going to build a, a template out for that. So comparing um, commitment to traders data against the, the notional outstanding uh, for you know uh, a given futures contract, um, you're going to be able to do really cool analysis in that. Um, and then you know. Is, is more volume being traded on Shanghai Futures Exchange uh, growing all the time. So um, stuff like that, you can take a look. Um, I mentioned commitment to traders. We're going to build out a really cool dashboard for you to analyze the commitment to traders report. Um, disaggregated, aggregated, however you want to do it. Um, if you've seen the commitment to traders tool on tmegroup.com, um, I might imagine that our dashboard in Excel is going to look very similar to that. So if you like that, uh, you're going to love it in Commodity View Excel because you can do so much more. Um, and then, you know, any ideas that you have, um, shoot them our way, commodity at bartchart.com, send an email, let us know you're interested, and we will work to get it done. Um, okay, got a, two more uh, that came in. Um, can I access data from PLATS? Yeah, you can. Um, so if you are entitled to receive data from PLATS or any third party, Argus, Opus, uh, whatever you need, um, that entitlement flows down into Commodity View Excel. So um, really great question. Uh, we, we do have a lot of um, you know customers that they use Platts Biofuels data. Um, it's really interesting stuff. Um, you can get it. That's that's the answer to that. Um, and then you know what else is, is coming down the pipe from a product perspective? Um, I kind of rephrased that a little bit but um, that was just uh, well glad you asked. Um, we are coming out with, uh, we're working on our basis prediction. So you've seen our, our yield forecast. You've seen our price indexes going out with a 12 month forward curve uh, with historical data available back to 2014. Uh, but, you know, we're working on coming up with like, what should basis be in, in you know, September of, of 2020? Um, what do we expect it to be? Um, what's the confidence interval with which we can say it's going to be in this range? Um, we know what the historical seasonality is, but based on, you know, where prices have gone, uh, where yield is expected to go in. Can we actually make a prediction on where basis, what fair value for basis should be? Yeah, I, I, we can, uh, and we're going to do it. And that's in the works. Um, really exciting stuff. We'll have more to talk about uh, as it relates to that at Commodity Exchange in May. So um, if you haven't already registered since I showed you the slide, uh, please go back, uh, register now, because we're going to talk about that more there. Um, and then growing conditions, right? So we have our yield estimate data. Um, what does that mean, right? So obviously, like here's the amount of grain that's going to come out of the ground. Um, but what plays into that? So taking geospatial information, um, understanding specifically, like here's the environmental impact on your fields. Here are the growing conditions in a scale that you can understand from zero to ten. You know, is, is, is this a good year? Is it a bad year? How's it compared historically? I don't know. Well, you will uh, once we get our, our growing conditions uh, index out there. So um, more to come on all this stuff. You've got to come to Commodity Exchange to find out more. Um, we'll tell you about it over email, but uh, it's better in, in, in the flesh. So um, definitely reach out. Uh, let us know. Register for uh, Commodity Exchange. Um, let us know if you have any questions on any of the content. Um, but that, that's, that's all the questions that I had from the audience. And um, that's all the content that I had to cover. So um, I appreciate everybody who came today for coming out, uh, taking a look at what we got, listening. And, uh, you know, I look forward to um, an inbox full of uh, inquiries uh, when, I, when I get back to my desk. Um, but ultimately, you know, thank you so much. We appreciate our customers. We appreciate our clients. I uh, look forward to working with all of you guys. And um, just, you know, have, have a great day. So um, without further ado, I'm going to... Uh, end this session and uh, speak with you soon. Thank you.